Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danny, and today we'll take a peek into Gang of Four, their sophomore release actually. And the only connection that I have with the band is um, by knowing that uh, one of the founders of uh, Gang of Four, Andy Gill, has produced the uh, the first record of the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and uh, I don't know anything more than that. Uh, however, I do see that uh, Gang of Four is mentioned in the context of television and um, um, uh, Talking Heads, for example. So very curious to see how different or how similar it is. And uh, since we are uh, writing this, let's say, new wave uh, or punk wave uh, in general uh, lately, I hope that you will enjoy the following videos. If you're first time here, please check the playlist. I do deep dive music reactions to music that I never heard before. Album by album, we go track by track, and it's a learning process, uh, how for me, how for everyone else who didn't hear this music in a while. And uh, I hope you will enjoy. If you do, hit the like button, subscribe, and for all of you who want to go an extra mile, feel free to buy me a cup of coffee or to PayPal me. Without any further ado, Paralyzed, let's see how it goes. intro what a introduction to gang of four and this album wow 
Um, I'm completely speechless uh, because a couple of reasons I did not expect to hear the music to be so serious in a sense. Um, guitar sounds, uh, I mean, the sound of the guitar, it definitely uh, reminds me of um, the guitar sound that uh, the Chili Peppers had there on first record, but I'll try to avoid as much as possible the, the comparisons to do that album so that I don't uh, uh, bore you too much. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, what a resonating, beautiful, beautiful sound of the guitar, uh, a, a little bit echoey, fits perfectly um, to the to the ambience that the bass is creating. It's a thick, very, very, um, I, I cannot even say 80s sound of, of bass, but um, um, the bass started to kind of change in, in this in this time. Uh, in a sense that um, it got bolder um, in in the production, it, does, it didn't need it only to be uh, quirky like uh, it was on on many uh, let's say disco releases or R and B releases. Uh, but in general, yeah, it's it's very very nice uh, how the whole atmosphere is created. And then I definitely did not expect to hear uh, spoken word uh, lyrics. And I didn't expect to hear a British accent, so very curious to to know more about the band, the band's history, who's in the band. Uh, if you have any uh, information or if you want anything to share, please let me know in the comments. Um, I really like the lyrics. I mean, very strong messages here, uh, relatable to today as well. Um, I guess the world is not changing that much, uh, I, I assume. And uh, yeah, we, I'm very, very intrigued. We are definitely in for a ride and I hope uh, that you will join it. So if you enjoy this um, song, this uh, video or my reaction, hit the like button. And uh, if you want to see more, please make sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Until then. Thank you for your attention. Take care. Bye-bye.